Y'all, Jeannie Mai is devastated about the divorce proceedings by her husband. And she want them to work it out. And I, Jeezy, I think you should work it out. Answer that girl's phone and go work it out. Go on down to the marriage counselor's office and work it out. Somebody said to me, Jadis, he's one of your people. Once he's done, he's done. Apparently, he's an October person or something like that. You see, October people, when we done, we done. Yeah. I, I'm like that. See, I'm like that. I, I'm, I'm the type of person, when I'm done, I'm done. Did you see the shorts I just uploaded? Oh, I got so many videos to do. I have to do a video. My father said you need to see him angry before you marry him. And Mike, and he going to ask, Mike, have you seen Jane is angry? You need to see Jane is angry. So when I get angry, I just cut you off. Done. Blocked. Goodbye. Don't call me. Don't come to my house. He sent flowers to the job. I sent it back. It was so bad he had his secretaries call me. Janice, Mike's getting ready to go away for two weeks. Can you please meet with him? So yeah, I, I talked to him. I was done. I was like, you know what? I'm done, but goodbye. I talked to him. I, I, even now, when I'm, I'm upset with Mike, I just stopped talking. So I'm going to do that video and tell you the whole story about I saw him upset and he saw me upset. And my upset is... um. <laughs> so Jeannie wants to work on the marriage. Jeezy, you need to work to the uh, go on down there to the marriage council. But maybe he done. You know, he over there talking to Jake's in there. And I was watching one of his videos that I'm, I want to do a video on. He said the new rich is peace. Well, you can't have no peace with the dragon lady. You should have known that. You should have known you wasn't gonna have no peace with the dragon lady. Huh? You should have known. You should have known you wasn't going to have no peace with a woman who publicly disrespects her husband. You should have known you wasn't going to have no peace with a woman who's publicly telling on television how she was servicing you and how her arch back, well, she was arching her back. It's a marriage. Y'all took vows. I'm making the assumption before God and man, and y'all need to go head down to the marriage counselor and work it out. Jeez, go on down there to the man. This is going to be my video. I'm not even going to talk about what I was going to talk. Go on down there to the marriage council's office. Now, you know, all the rumors are out. Did I say, hey, y'all, be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, y'all. I'm tired. I'm cooking. I'm baking. The oven is on. I'm making baked salmon for dinner and cabbage. Ooh. Uh, in the oven. Have you ever had baked cabbage girl? If you ain't never had baked cabbage girl. Mm. So according to oh Lord, I was about to say juicy. Lord, let me pray for juice in the name of Jesus. Cover him with your love in the name of Jesus. Cover him with your love. Deliver him and set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Juicy. He's a man. Okay, his name is Juicy. We call him Juicy. I pray for Juicy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, people cross your lips. You need to pray for them because they may be going through some. And I know Juicy going through. So, um, ah. Funky Geneva, another one we need to pray for. Funky Geneva says she, he called down there by Atlanta and they said, you know, it's nothing juicy. It's just, you know, family dynamics, right? The thing is, yes, Jeezy, you should try to work the marriage up. But you know what? This marriage ain't going to work. It's not, it not going to work. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's at the point now. He's like, I'm going to just cut my losses and go. You know, even in that video, that interview, the video was so good. It was so good. It was so good. He said, you could put a man is a, in a Rolls Royce and he's still the same person. That's true. That's true. That 
is true. He has not changed. This is why most people who win the lottery are broke in seven years. Why? They have not renewed their mind. This is why my financial course is going to be about renewing your mind. You, you have to renew your mind. And see, Jeannie Mai, he wanted this soft feminine woman. And, and, and she was like, yeah, I, I can be her. I can be her. They say she's, she's controlling. She's domineering. They even say she has a sexual allure. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, you know. Mm -hmm. she's pretty and she's the Lord. But on the inside, the Bible says you're dead bones. The man ain't got no peace when you come home. And so now, Jeannie Ma, you want to work the marriage out because he done went on down there and filed, filed the divorce papers. He booked a trip for your anniversary trying to see, let me try the more. You probably went over there, act a fool. And he was like, oh, hell no, I'm getting rid of this heifer. He signed the papers in June. That means he was giving you time to fix it, but you didn't fix it. So now he done went down to the courts and put it in public. Now you want to save the marriage. But Jeannie, go ahead and get that divorce. I changed my mind. I changed my mind because now you want to change and become this person. He don't want you. He said, baby, you know what I'm saying, man? I don't want you walking baby to school. You know what I'm saying? You know, I used to be in the streets. People know me. I don't need people knowing where I lay my head. You know what I'm saying? You still walking the baby to school. So now that he went on down there and filed for the divorce, are you going to stop walking the baby to school? And is that what you really want? Because that's nowhere for, that's no, no place. That's not, that's, you can't live like that, that Gina Mae. You can't live like that because you're scared he's going to divorce you. And you're scared the moment you mess up, he's going to go file for divorce. Because that's not who you are. You want to walk the baby to school because you don't think ain't nothing wrong with it. And he's telling you, listen, sis, I'm a nigga from the street. I did stuff to people. I was selling stuff. I was doing stuff. People may be coming here looking for me. I don't need nobody trying to get my kid. You don't understand that. Man, come home. Like, that's what he said in the video. The new rich is peace. That's one thing them old church people said. When your husband come home, baby, don't bombard him with stuff. Don't talk about the kids, the cats, the dogs. Leave him alone. When my husband come home, when we first got married, I used to run down the stairs, right? Meet him. Hi, honey. How are you? How was your day? Take, take his cold. Would you like, are you ready for dinner? Um, most time he came home late. Are you ready for dinner or would you like a glass of wine? I have my silver platter. I serve my husband his glass of wine on a silver platter. He also said, no, I'll just take a glass of wine for now. And he, are you ready for dinner? I was like, no, give me a minute. And then when he's ready, he'll call me because he's late. I already ate, Lexi already ate. And I'll come down, warm up his dinner and serve it to him, his dinner. Sometimes I'll eat with him if he's coming home at a certain time and it's early. Or sometimes he'll say, nah, nah, I'm all right. I want to eat right now. Then when he come home and start cooking, I already know my husband, he had a very stressful day. Leave him alone. He, my husband come home 10 o'clock at night and cook. He's de-stressing. Leave him alone. So little Michael come, you know, the baby come and I'm nurse the baby and daddy come home and I come to, hey, honey, how are you? Do, do, do. Little Michael got about 18 months. The alarm go off and daddy come home. Little Michael <laughs> would boom, jump off the bed. You know, the bed is high. Run down the stairs. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm up, I'm laid up in the bed. Eat my eyes and, hey, boy, how was your dad? Okay, I don't need anything. Okay, okay. Right before COVID, my husband said to me, honey, when I came home, you used to run down the stairs and jump in my arms. You don't do that no more. Guess what I started doing? 
me and Lil Michael, the alarm go off. Me and Lil Michael, Lil Michael's in front of me, and I'm me and Michael running down the hi, honey, how are you? Then COVID happened, blah blah blah. My husband was home for three months, three years, y'all. He just went back to work. So when he comes home, me and Lil Michael, Lil Michael's almost now. We come running down there. Hi, honey, how are you? How was your day? Would you like some something to drink? Were you ready for dinner? This is you're like, no, I just want to sit here, watch TV a little bit. You know, little Michael don't understand. So little Michael stay down here and and you know with him. But I understand that he just need he just needs some time. When your man, when your husband come home, ladies, don't stress him out. He don't need to come home to no ray, ray, all noise. Your mama in the house, this one in the now. Da, 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 da. So now Jimmy, he don't went down there and filed for divorce. Now you, you're going to do what he wants you to do, but that's not really who you are, right? He don't want his, that we're black, we're, we're black people. We don't like people in our homes. You could come visit Christmas, Thanksgiving. That's okay. Easter. Okay. Oh, well, this is my culture. This is my culture. Okay. What about his culture? Okay. What about the black American culture? You're raising the little girl Vietnamese and you, then he going, he, the father going to teach him Southern. So the daddy's, the man is working. Paying for his big old mansion, and y'all sitting up there to speaking Vietnamese, probably talking about calling him a nigga behind his back. He don't know. He told you, I don't like that. Your mama's been with you since you got married. Then what did you do? Move your grown behind brother in the man's house. So now that he don't went down there and filed for divorce, what you gonna do? Put your mama and your brother out. He don't told you he don't like it. So now you want to change. Because you see that he's serious about what he's been telling you. And so now all the things he's been talking to you about, now you want to go ahead and change him to suit him. But that's not who you are. That's not who you are. He don't like this on social media. You post everything on social media. I heard somebody said it and I believe it. he put, she put that little video up to, 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 uh, manipulate that daddy into staying. She knew that man was going to go file for divorce because she done been talking to you about what he don't like. So now he went on down there to file for divorce and now you want to cry. I want to say my marriage. It's too late. Now, granted, I personally think, right, you should do everything in your power to save the marriage. But this marriage between Jenny May and Jeezy, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. They don't work. It's not going to work. They're too different. And y'all talk about, oh, these are little things can be worked out. It cannot be worked out because that's not who she is at her core. At her core, she is the dragon lady. She's this angry dragon lady, disrespectful. This is why I shut my mouth when I'm mad at my husband. I shut my mouth. I'm, I kid you not, y'all. I will not talk to my husband before I open my mouth and say something disrespectful. I will take my mouth. You know why? All the things you've been saying and confessing, One time, you just need to say something. The devil is standing right there. Wait. Hmm. Was it Jeremiah that said, I said, a watch at my mouth? Don't let me say anything that's going to cancel out what I've been sowing all these years. So I shut my mouth. I sent him an email. And I'll tell Mike, can't talk to you right now. I need you to leave me alone right now. See, Jeannie thought she was pretty and cute and fake feminine and fake submission and that he wouldn't leave her. Even though I am hearing that he has a shrimp and he can't, he, got, he can't be laying that dark meat pipe, honey. But anyways, I don't know. I don't care what people do in their beds. But even if they work on this marriage and going down to the counselor's office, it ain't going to work. 
because one, it's it's like trauma bonding. Remember what I kept telling y'all about Miles and Karen married at first sight, and y'all, oh my God, they're just so wonderful. And this, and I was like, no, they're not gonna work. No, they're not gonna work. Miles and Karen were trauma bonded, and soon as somebody got healed, Karen, the marriage was gonna be over. So Jeezy and and Jeannie Mae may stay together, but eventually. They're going to get a divorce. Because she's trying to be someone she's not. And she's fighting to keep this marriage. But how many of you know it takes two people? That's why she's the naked wife. Jenny Mae is the naked wife fighting to save her marriage. You can't save it alone. And it's too late. So yeah, go to counseling. But eventually, y'all going to still get end up getting a divorce. Because you are not what he wants. He wants an Esther. But you was faking being an Esther. But you're a Jezebel. And a Delilah. You're alluring and you're beautiful and you're sexy. And you can arch like a snake. But you're not an Esther. That's that he wants an Esther. You're, you're a wolf in sheep's clothing. And he, he see the wolf. This is why, this is why I'm going to do another video. This is why, ladies, you need to get your healing before you get married. Marriage is not to heal you. I know why some of these old, bitter aunties is telling you, but marriage is not to heal you. You're supposed to go into your marriage whole, not broken. My husband is not supposed to be healing me of all the trauma I done been through. And another thing, y'all women out here talking about, oh, I was listening to one lady talking about she'd been 10 different women. It sounds like you need to go get some medicine. If you're, you, you're 10 different people, ma'am, you need to go get some medicine. Go see a psychiatrist and a psychologist. Get you some medicine. And then you want him to love you, depending on who you 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 turn into and you become. And you, he's supposed to just love you and accept you for who you are. Well, let me ask you something: If he stop paying, if he's paying the mortgages, you know, y'all, most of the women married fifty fifty. Let me use me. If Mike stop being who I need him to be. Is it okay? Hmm. Oh, it's okay for me to get loud and disrespect my husband and become this one. And I'm who I have. You gonna love me. You ladies, I tell you all the time, don't be walking around in this big old funky sweaty stinking behind t-shirts. Get your funky behind up. Get your ass in the tub. Scrub your behind. Put some perfume on. Put some powder on. Put your hair up in a ponytail. Pop a flower on the side. Talk about he, he's supposed to love me. He gonna love me. Let him stop paying these bills around here and see how much love you love him. Let's see how you're going to act towards him when he stop being who you need him to be. All this foolishness, I hear these women talking about, oh, he's supposed to love you, so why she's a dragon, he's supposed to love her. If he, if, 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 if he stop paying the bills, is that okay? It's not okay, ladies, for us to be disrespectful to our husbands. Huh? Pointing your fingers in his face, yelling at him and screaming at him. It's disrespectful and rude. Flip it around. If he begin to act 
unloving towards you. Is that okay? Since it's okay for you to act unloving to your husband, is it okay for him to act unloving towards you? So don't do it. Be your best self. Every day I get up, I'm my best self. I'm going to become a better person today. All this stuff, all the stuff that's going on, people divorce. I just told my husband, I love you. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, my This house, I appreciate you. And even though we're moving, I don't, I'm not ungrateful for this house. Lord, thank you for this house. Thank you, my Money in the bank. Thank you, babe. Retirement, good. I appreciate you. Remember to pay your tithes, my. Because you need to don't act like you're not replaceable. Ladies, do not act like you're not replaceable. I treat my husband and talk to him the same way I did the night I met him. And that's why I say you're so gracious and you're so kind and you're so thoughtful. Because I don't ever want him to think that I'm ungrateful or I am entitled, or I'm not replaceable. You think you're not replaceable. Baby, you are replaceable, so you need to be grateful. And you have a grateful spirit. And you talk to your husband with love. And the Apostle Paul says, let your words be seasoned with grace. So I'm not saying y'all don't get upset. I do. That's why I don't say nothing. Because, see, I know my mouth is my blessing and my curse. Baby, I can take you all the way to the Red Sea, the Jordan River, and dip you in the water and bring you all the way back. So it's best for me when I'm mad at my husband. Shut your mouth. This is why they said don't discipline your kids when you're when you're upset because you might hurt them. When you're when you're angry, don't discipline your kids. That's why a lot of us have trauma. Because our my parents abused us. They were angry and they beat you and they're angry. You're not, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't discipline. Hold on, that's my oven. You shouldn't discipline your kids when you're angry. Huh. When you're upset at your husband, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Last thing and then I'm going to go. King David sinned against God. I think it's a powerful scripture. God gave him three options for his punishment. I think it's three, but I'm only remembering two. Number one. Your enemies will have victory over you for so many years. Number two, I'm going to punish you. I'm going to discipline you. And you know what David says? I'm going to choose God's discipline. Because maybe, just maybe, God will be grateful. That's why I don't want nobody disciplining my kids for me. I get real. Do you want to see Janice get angry mess with my kids? No family member, nobody. Don't you discipline my children because you might hurt them. You might hurt little Michael's spirit. You might hurt Alexia's spirit. Lexi's, my kids are very sensitive. Some stuff upset Lexi in day program. I'm like, that should upset you. But my husband had to remind me. I said, babe, remember, our kids are different. They have a different kind of lifestyle. We're very loving in our home. We hug. We say, I love you. We, we speak good things. We congratulate each other. We, 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 we care for each other. We, we compliment each other. So when they go out in that world and somebody says something mean to them, such Lexus, she don't like you. You know? So that's why when you're angry, ladies, wise, shut your mouth. My college sweetheart, I'm going to tell you all another, that another day. He broke up with me because of my mouth. 
I was 19 and I got angry and he broke up with me. He stopped talking to me. I never forgot that. Never forgot it. So when you're angry, ladies, shut your mouth. Don't talk to us. Tell him, honey, I'm going to talk to you later about it. Or I'll send an email. If I have to say something, I'll email him. And Jeannie Mae, she got that dragon. And 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 for for Jeezy being a street dude, I'm kind of surprised. Cause street people are what they are so smart. They could see through things. I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised. But anyways, they should go ahead and work on the mirrors. Go ahead down to the council's office. And uh, but they they gonna get uh, they're not gonna work out. They're not gonna work out. Jeannie May ain't no Esther. She's a Jezebel and she's a Delilah. And and Jesus sound like look like he needs an Esther. But hello, you have three baby mamas. Go back and marry one of them. But anyways, that's none of my business. I'm over this fa the fakery of it all. I think this is on my Etsy shop or it's below. Check that out. Love you. I'll be in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, my books. Remember the naked wife. Jeannie May is the naked wife and she's fighting to keep her marriage and uh how many you know it takes two love you uh two or three times so guys i need reviews on this one please thank you bye